Hi, my name is Bailey, and I am a strong believer in community. I grew up in a really, really small community. Small meaning 36. I thought for the longest time growing up that that meant that I could only do a handful of things. My community also afforded me the ability to think and realize that I can get out of that community and, and that what 36 means is much more. I and you come from a community of billions of people. I mean, we're inhabitants of this world. We are, we are people who are living our days for the greater good of everyone. And if that doesn't make a community, I, I don't know what does. Um, that was always the, the pillars that my community stood on. And so when I started looking at things that my bigger community um, was facing, you know, outside of, you know, crop. I come from a farm, uh, farm community, so that was the biggest thing we worried about is, oh, the, the drought or, or the heavy rain or the, the low crop number that year. But there's so many issues that, that other communities and, and our greater community face. And one, one aspect that I really, really got heavily involved with was the ocean. Where I kind of fell in love with this idea of ocean um, started off when I um, started working for SeaWorld and Bush Gardens um, on their youth adv advisory board and really got to see the importance of conservation. I was on their conservation um, fund board and so we, we really helped locate a lot of conservation initiatives around the world that, that could use a lot of grant funding. Um, and I really fell in love with a lot of the projects. And, and the further I got into that, you know, I, I came across a, a group called the World Oceans um, Day Youth Advisory Council. So World Oceans Day is on June 8th every year, and this council helps plan this day for the United Nations. They really wanted a youth perspective, something young, something fresh, something innovative um, that they hadn't seen before. You know, we have Earth Day, and we celebrate Earth Day every year, but, but how do we make it different? each year and how do we make it you know much bigger and the same goes for world oceans day they wanted something to really hone in the message of the ocean and so i i applied for that council and i and i got on it to represent the united states previously i'd worked for um, the united nations environmental program um, personally i a program that i helped um, start and and predominantly worked all through high school we we um, were chosen by the United Nations as the number one uh, sustainable environmental program in the United States. The moment that it kind of really took hold for me um, was this year um, speaking at the UN um, in New York at the General Assembly and it's me but it's everybody else too that that has has a has a voice in this game you know they're the ones at the end of the day kind of changing policies and 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 really making these high level decisions and in, in terms of ocean management in terms of conservation but it was me someone from illinois who's landlocked having a voice in the conversation there was a man there he was he was a, a fisherman off of seattle he needed to have a voice in the conversation because his daily life depended on it. We had a tribal man from Palau again. He needed to have a voice in the conversation. We had a woman from corporate America. She had a huge, it was everybody. And to see that and to see each voice saying, we find it important in backing this and supporting this really showed the united and not to sound hokey, but the, how different, different entities, the United Nations, right? We all are united and it's over something like the ocean. In that week, um, we were able to go to um, uh, Washington DC to speak um, with President Obama and the um, White House Environmental Council um, and, and just talk about what we think that their administration is doing good and what we don't think is doing good. And, it, and honestly, it was a pinch me moment in the sense that here I was being listened to and not just kind of taken as like, ah. Uh, cute 18 year old telling us what to do no it was very much like we we find what you're saying so important and, and we're gonna listen so to speak to him and bernie sanders was was in that was during the election and so he was in the white house at the time and it was just a really surreal moment the one thing that i've always told myself is what is the worst that is going to happen right 
I'll make a move and I'll make and I'll make significant steps forward, whether I achieve my goal or not, I am pushing towards something a little bit a little bit greater. And and like that to me, at the end of the day, if I can put my head on my pillow and say, I made those steps forward, I might have failed and, and, and maybe nobody took me seriously. But I guarantee if I wake up tomorrow and do the same exact thing, maybe they'll listen to me a little bit more. Or or maybe they'll take somebody else a little bit more seriously. And, and if I can do that, I'm winning no matter what.